What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I've got another video for you today where I'm going to show you a bunch of items that I've sold on eBay in the last month or so. This is not all of my sales, uh, but it's a lot of interesting stuff I think you can look for out in the wild, out at thrift stores, garage sales. I know people like these videos, just some fast information out there. If you got any questions for me, just leave them in the comments. Let's jump into it. Picked up this Cleveland Browns corduroy hat at a garage sale for $1. And I sold it for $45. Nice flip. There's a sports specialities hat like this. Has kind of the cord back and it can sell for about $150. Brand does matter a lot on these vintage hats. Still, that's a huge return on my investment. Shipping out this vintage computer chess game I picked up at a rubbish sale for only $1. Sold it for $35 plus shipping for a total of $43.58. I sold this perfect power nozzle goes to a perfect vacuum. I got the vacuum at Goodwill. I think I paid $7.99 for all of it. I'm parting it out selling the hoses, the power head. The canister ended up being damaged so I just threw that away and of course the attachments. Parting out vacuums can be great money. This power head I sold for $70 plus shipping for a total of $90.33. Sold these Timberland boots. I ended up paying $15 for these at a sale. Sold them for $55 plus shipping another great shoe slash boot sale i guess i ended up selling this galaxy box fan i think i paid three dollars for this at a garage sale there's a little piece broken off i ended up finding it inside the fan glued it back on cleaned it up a little bit I ended up selling it for 70 dollars plus shipping it's going to be a pain to ship that's for sure but it's worth it when you're making that kind of profit paid one dollar for this scooby doo plush at a garage sale I ended up selling it for 30 dollars shipped not bad. So these Nike Air shoes, I got $58 plus shipping for a total of $75.99. They have a little bit of wear. I probably could have got more money for them if they were in better condition. But I only paid $5 for them at Goodwill, so I'll take it. Picked up this Globe at a garage sale. I think I paid $3 for it. Maybe $5 for it. It's one of the, the textured ones. They do pretty well. Sold for $35 plus shipping. So I am shipping out some train stuff. No actual trains, but the buildings. This kind of stuff right here. I even got some that haven't been built yet, which I lotted up in another lot. I broke them up into three lots and just done auctions because I really didn't know what these would be worth. I didn't want to list each one individually. I paid $100 for a tote of this stuff. I paid $25 for a tote of this stuff at Goodwill, but one of the lots sold for 52 plus shipping, 51 plus shipping, and 52 plus shipping. So it ended up doing well. I was just going to price these like $30 plus shipping a box. I decided just to do an auction just in case. I'm glad I did. In this case, I got more money doing the auctions. Still got some other stuff to sell as well. So it's going to be some good profit out of that tote I bought at Goodwill. Here is some model train snow, I guess, for the cities or whatever you want to use it for. This came out of the tote with all the train buildings. Ended up selling it for $30 plus shipping. So this alone paid for that whole tote. Here's a Halloween mask from the movie Saul that I picked up for, I believe, only a quarter, maybe 50 cents. Ended up selling it for 25 bucks. Picked up this Auric Iron at a rummage sale for only $1. And I sold it for $25 plus shipping. There's some great irons out there to find and sell. Much better than this one, that's for sure. Check out this awesome vintage Toxic Crusaders hovercraft. It's missing almost all the pieces complete this thing sells for around 200 bucks but the base here it's in really good condition the stickers are in great condition and i probably priced it too low i priced it 20 dollars plus shipping and it sold within like two minutes of me listing it but you know what i saw other comps for just the base selling between 15 and 20 dollars so i thought 20 dollars you know, it was a good price, 20 plus shipping, but possibly there's just not a whole lot of these available and the price had went up since the ones that had sold. You know, I only paid $2.99 for it at Goodwill, so there's profit in it. This is part of a Jurassic World dinosaur lot I bought. I've pretty much sold all the other dinosaurs. This one sold for $20 plus shipping for a total of $33.85. Ended up selling this Vanity Fair bra 
I got this in a mystery box. I did a video unboxing of that mystery box. If you didn't catch it, I'll put a link in the description. I ended up selling it for $20 plus shipping. The mystery box was just, I believe, Amazon returns. Here is one of the Green Lantern and Predator figure sets I picked up at a sale where I got a bunch of collectible toys. I paid $75 for these. This is the last one. I sold it for $180 plus shipping. Here is an awesome flip. I picked up five of these Kohler toilet seats at a Goodwill $20 a piece. They are some sort of special color that goes with a high-end toilet. So I guess there's a, such a thing as rare toilet seats out there, just like rare collectibles. But I was able to sell it for $200 plus shipping for a total of $237.22. Eventually when I sell all these toilet seats, that's going to be some very good profit. I paid 50 cents for this hat at a garage sale and I sold it for $17. Even hats like this that don't sell for a lot, they're great when you're picking them up for a quarter or 50 cents or a dollar. You can make some good money on them. So here is a Macari sale. These mosquito repelling coils I bought at a Lowe's have a little over a dollar a piece into these. I believe there's 30 of them in there. I sold them for $89 plus shipping. I sold them on Macari because eBay removed them. Apparently, they're considered hazardous. I don't know. I've sold plenty of mosquito repelling stuff on eBay before. And there's plenty of people still selling these on eBay, so I don't know why mine was removed. Whatever. I just put them on Macari and ended up selling them, making money. Found this little American Girl doll I picked up at Goodwill for $10. Ended up selling it for $30 plus shipping. I don't think it's actually new. Looked like it was probably open. It's kind of partially new. Kind of sold it as that. Could have got more money if if it was completely new but $30 plus shipping I'll take it sold these vintage farm life safari cows uh, I believe I paid two or three dollars for these at Goodwill and I ended up selling them for 20 bucks sold this Mizuno glove for $25 plus shipping I believe I picked it up for two three maybe five dollars I don't remember at this point pick up a lot of gloves and sell them I sold a couple electronics I sold this Allegro VCR I ended up picking this up at a garage sale for three dollars sold it for $35 plus shipping below it I got a Magnavox combo unit with the remote I sold for $90 plus shipping. I usually sell electronics like this on Amazon. However, these were not listed on Amazon. So just decided to sell them on eBay, make some good profit. Only paid $10 for the Magnavox, only $3 for the VCR. So I made some good money. So I picked up this Longaburger divided tea with lid protector set at a Goodwill. I think I paid two, maybe $3 for it at most. It's new in box. I sold it for $20. I paid $5 for these Disney rubber toy figures and I sold them for $15 plus shipping. Got them at Goodwill. Here's a Mr. Coffee tea pitcher replacement. Found this at Goodwill. They had a price $5. <laughs> I still bought it because I can make some money on it. Sold it for $20 plus shipping for a total of $31.68. So I ended up selling this little phone and I picked it up for $2 at a garage sale. Uh, I believe I had it priced like $20 plus shipping. Been sitting for quite a while so I ended up pricing it $13 plus shipping and it sold. Get it out of here I still make about $10 profit on it. The red phones and other colors tend to do a bit better than black and beige and white and stuff like that. I ended up buying this fusion juicer i was going to use it myself i just decided you know what i'm not going to use it i think a year went by it just sat there paid 12 dollars for it at a goodwill decided to sell it for 40 dollars plus shipping for a total of 55 dollars and 85 cents i ended up selling a massager you just have to trust me there's a massager in there it's in a box inside of this package tight so i'm not going to take it out but i picked this up at a rummage sale i only paid a dollar for it i sold it for 60 dollars plus shipping for a total of 81 dollars and two cents so not a bad flip at all i sold this cobra cb radio i ended up paying 20 dollars for this at a garage sale i sold it for 100 dollars plus shipping for a total of 139.87 i'll take it sold this scrabble i believe 50th anniversary edition timer bought the scrabble game and it was missing pieces so I just parted out some of the pieces made a little bit of money on it sold this one for ten dollars and eighty cents so you know I'm sure that paid for the game maybe made me a little bit of money along with the other tiles and stuff I sold ended up being profit in the end anyway picked up this new in box faucet as you can see the box is pretty destroyed paid five dollars for it at a garage sale sold it for 50 bucks plus shipping for a total of 88.63 they paid a lot to have this shipped I paid one dollar for this 
Halloween Barbie doll at a garage sale. Sold for $20 plus shipping. Costing the buyer a lot to have this shipped. Paid $16 for shipping. Total was $37.87. I paid two or three dollars for this trailer wiring harness at Goodwill and I sold it for $30. Just a nice clean flip. Paid $100 for a tote filled with this trash pack stuff. It was all new sealed for the most part and I've been selling quite a bit. I'm definitely well in the profit now. Sold this pack for 40 bucks. Got this DVD set revealing the mysteries of heaven from a Salvation Army. Paid $2 for it. Brand new sealed. Sold it for 40 bucks. So I sold this knife block. I got at a thrift store. I only paid a dollar for it and I sold it for $15 plus shipping. Not one of the high end ones that sell for hundreds, but I'll take it. Ended up selling this juggernaut figure. I got this in a lot with a bunch of other figures. I'm pretty sure I've made my money back. So this is all profit. $25 plus shipping is what I sold it for. He's heavy. Great figure. I actually have another one up here um, <laughs> of my own that I found. Here's some of my other stuff you want to see real quick. Well, sold this one for 25 plus shipping. Sold a couple of these squirrel busters I got at a Lowe's. I believe I have about five or six dollars into them. They paid twenty dollars a piece for them plus shipping. A lot of things sell for much more on Amazon and much faster, but this sat forever and eventually Amazon sent it back to me. Otherwise, I was going to get charged high fees for storage. Once things sit for so long, don't sell. That's what happens. I have it set to automatically send them back to me. Paid five dollars for it at the garage sale. It's capped at pants book set put it on ebay for forty dollars plus shipping and it sold in a couple weeks here are some shoes that i sold i sold these merrill shoes and i sold these for twenty dollars pretty sure i got these for like two dollars and fifty cents at salvation army they had a little bit of corrosion here on the metal pieces which i mentioned hopefully they read it okay which is why i sold them for twenty and i just sold a pair of brooks ghost tins in good condition I don't remember where I got these. I got so many Brooks recently. I paid somewhere between a dollar and five dollars for them. Sold those for $25 plus shipping. Here was a cassette I got out of the big cassette lot I bought recently. Deep Purple Fireball. I sold this one for 15 bucks. Here is some track I sold. This goes with a cat like train set I bought at Goodwill. It was missing one piece. So I decided just to part out everything. I think I paid $6 for all of it. I sold these for 20 bucks plus shipping. Here is a Dremel router attachment I got at Goodwill. I paid $10 for this. And this is one of the reasons I say it's good to use the eBay Global Shipping Program. These are not selling great in the United States, but somebody did an international order. They paid $60 for it. You know, in the end, I end up making about 10 or $15 on it, so I'll take it. So I got these Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure items. I got I sold this Loki for $45 international order, $45 plus shipping. I sold these, I believe, for $45 plus shipping. Just some pieces that go with one of the sets. I ended up buying a lot of these. I think I paid about $200 for all of them. In the end, I'm going to more than double my money. So, yeah, here goes a few. Here is a Netgear wireless extender. And I've had this for years. And I'm surprised it took so long to sell, honestly. I don't remember where I got it or what I paid for it. But I'm sure it wasn't much. Ended up selling it for 30 bucks. I had it priced at around $60 or $70 for a while. Because that's what they were selling for on Amazon. Don't sell Netgear on Amazon because of the IP claims. So, you know ebay is just a different platform i sold these hero skate figures for 60 dollars these came out of a big lot of them i bought a salvation army for 25 dollars made a lot of money on them so far a few hundred for sure here's a piece that goes to a black and decker food processor i decided to part this out because it would be more money to sell it that way i believe i've already sold a blade i forget what i sold the blade for but this piece 24 dollars parts for this kind of stuff they really add up. Got these Kiri Nike shoes I picked up at Goodwill for only $5. They had just come out. I was in the right place at the right time. Sold them for $50 plus shipping for a total of $64.30. I believe I paid $2 for this vintage Gillette razor at Goodwill. You know, it's been sitting probably for about four years or more. Had it priced $20. Eventually, I priced it down to $13. And it has sold. So I'm going to make some money on it. Probably wouldn't pick up again. Some of these vintage razors, though do very well though here is a tomato strainer i got this at salvation army it seems like i paid three dollars for it i think it might even been half off but was it you know i paid six it's still a great buy because i sold it for sixty dollars plus shipping and this is a what i would call lower end strainer the 
uh, one I sold recently. I can't remember the name, but it was like a hundred bucks I got for it. So yeah, not a bad flip at all. Here is a remote I picked up for a couple dollars. I believe it was at Salvation Army. I ended up selling it for $38. Nice remote flip. It's hard to find remotes anymore because most thrift stores, Goodwill's admitted to this, they just throw them away. Loose remotes. You used to put them in bins. Not anymore. Ended up picking up a few of these Glacier Bay faucets and soap dish at a Home Depot. Pay ten dollars a piece for them. Been selling them for thirty dollars plus shipping. This is the last one. Picked up this CD set at Salvation Army for two dollars, and I sold it for twenty dollars. I paid five dollars for these Magna tiles. They glow and I sold them for $25. Got them from Goodwill. Got a couple shoes and boot sales here. These Danner boots picked up at Goodwill for only $5. I sold them for $50 plus shipping. I also picked up these Nike shoes for $5 and I sold these for $20 plus shipping. So some good money coming in from these two. Sold a couple pairs of shoes. Got these Patagonia shoes which I've never find patagonia shoes so this is rare hardly ever see anything patagonia at the thrift store really so i end up selling them for 50 dollars plus shipping that is a nice flip they got these asics shoes these gels and i ended up selling these for 25 dollars plus shipping but you know what look at this i left the price label on now i don't think i paid 8.99 for these i usually don't pay that much for asics I'm assuming this is a Salvation Army tag. I'm assuming they were half off, maybe even a dollar. But I'm like, did I just not take pictures of the souls? So I had just checked the listing. Sure enough, I did take pictures of them. I just did not see the price stickers. However, with the lighting, it looks like it blurred out the $8.99. So I'm pretty sure the customer couldn't read it. Just very tacky to leave the price stickers from a thrift store on the shoe. It doesn't happen very often, but yeah, I have missed this stuff in the past. I actually sold something on Amazon FBA once where I left the sticker on and well, I got a negative review for that. I'll peel this off and get these shipped out though. I found this Octopath Traveler game inspired card and sticker set at a Goodwill when I first saw it on the shelf. I thought it was the game. I was pretty excited. It actually had like six dollars this thing priced at but still I was able to buy it and flip it for 30 bucks. Here are some action figures I sold. I got this Jungle Hunter Predator. I believe I paid about $35 for this. I sold it for $98.44. Then I sold these two Hawk Outcast figures. Got about $5 a piece of them. Sold them for $40 plus shipping for a total of $57.06. Sold this Black Hole action figure. I don't remember what I have exactly in this. It came with some pop figures I believe I bought for $125 maybe in that lot or another lot i paid 75 dollars for toys uh either way it's profit so 35 dollars plus shipping is what i sold it for but there it is everybody there's more than 65 items i've found from thrift stores garage sales and sold on ebay hopefully this information is useful to you let me know in the comments what you've been finding out there in the wild let me know your favorite item i've sold or just say hi i'd appreciate a hi also, if you could hit that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. It helps the video out. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.